Good morning and welcome back to the Dogs What's It's channel. We are back on Skybound. So, we left it yesterday with we've got a big mission to complete, which is to get the iron chicken. So, I have spent a lot of time fishing, got loads of keys, been building up coins, but as you can see, we're still nowhere near getting a diamond coin. Never mind unlocking all the other trades. So, I have been fishing to try and get coins, it's usually the most profitable way. Um, but we've got to unlock the good fishing zones. So yesterday I got as high as the cave fishing area, which that one is terrible. But yeah, there's a lot that we can't do because we don't have the right tools. So for example, we could set up loads of hoppers, uh, these botany pots. But being as that they are not accepting dirt at the moment, we can't grow loads of different things because we only have one grass block. Um, so we need silt touch. Also, I want the wood from the nether and again I need silt touch for that. So we are going to have a look at getting our enchanting setup area sorted. And we need to try and unlock the next fishing zone because the cave one is terrible. It's really, really slow. Um, it's because of the way it's been designed. Unfortunately, fishing requires... It has a mechanic of you need open air above you. And because it's been designed to be a cave, whilst it looks pretty and all that, it's not great for actually getting fish so we need to unlock the next area as quickly as possible because yeah we need a ton of coins we need lots of them I thought it was slabs, it's not, it's just... Okay, put them back. Alright, so that gets us 11 bookcases. Yeah, we need some more leather. Um, can we transform that into leather? Can we cook it to be leather? No. Sometimes they put that in and sometimes they don't. So that's why it was worth testing. Uh, sorry if I'm talking a bit funny. I've got a bit of a problem with my tooth at the moment. So yeah. <laughs> I had a terrible toothache last night. I didn't think I'd be able to stream today. But it is a little better today. But yeah, it is affecting my speech a little. So you'll have to excuse that. We do get some good books out of it. I did empty it yesterday. We got some nice balls out of it. Um, how are you? Oh, you've been busy. Right, so loads of blackstone, but I'm not really happy with the blackstone roof. Right, so we've now got 11 bookcases. We need more. So, pop them up there have we got enough wheat we have some more because <clears throat> we need another four bookcases don't we hello there dude I need your leather come back thank you Right, 
Right, so once we've got enough leather for our books, this cow area can become the enchanting area. Rather than adding more land right now. Hey, yep. That was a bad bit of lag. <laughs> But yeah, I also had a comment about placing dirt to get to the areas that we can't get to to get the loot. Unfortunately, in the marketplace, you can't place any blocks. It's all adventure mode. And I'm not putting it in creative. I'm not I don't have cheats on. Everything is done legit. Um, I'll show you. I haven't even unlocked the world options so we don't have cheats we don't have access to cheats we're doing it all legit so yeah placing dirt in that area is not an option to get to the loot that's up high But yeah, usually I would have loads of botany pots set up by now. Actually, I have played this before when it first came out. Um, if you look back on my videos, I was doing it at the same time as UK Granny Gamer, Cyan Saber, um, and some of the other YouTubers that was doing series on it. I was doing them at the same time. So I do know how to speed it up. It's just unfortunately there's a couple of new bugs that weren't around then and yet yeah, we're not able to place dirt in the botany pots to be able to hoe it to put crops in it. So that option isn't available to us at the moment. So that's another reason why we need silt touch and we haven't fished any silt touch books up um, none have come out of here in fact I better go and double check the books because now in my luck there'll be one that I've not spotted I'm pretty sure we haven't had any silt touch hello leather Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's check our books. We've got Projectile Protection X, which is fantastic, which we got from a key. Impaling 4, Protection 3, Loyalty, Frostwalker, and Feather Falling 4. <clears throat> but yeah, there's no silt touch anywhere. I didn't think I'd seen it, but we had to double check. Alright, so more books. We need another four of these, don't we? We need 15 total, which leaves us a couple of books left over. Um, we also need some diamonds. We don't have enough. Oh, yes we do. No, we don't. We need another two. Right, so do we have gravel? We have a bit, not a lot. Right, so let's see if we have better luck because we now have the iron mesh in the sieve. Right, so did we get two bits of diamond? No, we didn't. So let's make a heavy sieve. Um, yeah, we can make two, we need three. If we take some of them, pop 
drop some of that all the way. Put all this paper away. Terracotta can go in there for now. Yeah, you see, we only have one grass block. Um, and I don't really, and that'll allow us to grow trees. I haven't tried to hoe it because I don't want to risk losing that grass block. Right, but we don't need you anymore. So let's put the grass block back in. And which one's going to give us more logs? Because this one, oak saplings give us apples, leaves, there's too many options. Um, dark oak's going to give us apples as well. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do spruce. Because we just want logs to sell really, we don't actually need them. Right, and that's got, it just reduces one of the drops that it can give us. Um, right, we don't need that wheat anymore. Right, so we need to make a heavy sieve. How do we make one of them? I can't remember. Oak heavy sieve, oak wood. Okay, we can make some of that. Right, so we've now got a heavy sieve. A heavy sieve means that we can now let's take that mesh out of there. We can now do compressed blocks. Because, yeah, we've got a fair bit of cobble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, but we can. Oh, do, 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 do. We need a heavy grinder or whatever it's called. That's not going to grind. Um. <coughs> Yeah, we need an automatic crusher. Um, that's not too bad. Redstone, iron, two stone. So let's slap a couple of stone in there. One of them. One of them, and two of you, wasn't it? Right, no, that's an oak crusher. We need a hit, we need an automatic crusher. What are we missing? Where is it? <clears throat> oak crusher. Industrial sieve. Definitely don't have those. What's the difference between an automatic and a heavy sieve and an industrial? I don't know. I don't remember making one of them last time. That might have been something that's been added. <clears throat> oh, 
Why can I not see it? That's just a crusher. We have one of those. I need an automatic crusher. Netherite ingot, polished blackstone, iron block. Yeah, so we can't do that. Okay, so the heavy sieve was pointless, really. just a compressor that doesn't break the blocks hmm I don't think that will crush compressed. Let's give it a go. No, I didn't think so. I won't accept it. just for a diamond and we do have one sitting out there don't we alright so last chance grind now we're going to take the sieve back out now let's Compress our gravel. No. Alright, so now we can just sift the compressed gravel. Sometimes it lets you walk through the blocks and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> And this time it's not. Right, we've still only got 10. Yep, so we're not getting diamonds that way. Um, is there a forge in this? No. Right, so there's no forge. So we've got to do it the old fashioned way. Alright, so you go in there to be smelted. We need a radar iron. To make an iron pick. So that we can harvest this one diamond. Right, we can now make a diamond pick. Get there in the end. <laughs> right, so let's set. Ah, uh, we need another diamond. Uh, didn't think of that. We need a diamond for the enchanting table, don't we? Okay then, so we need some double compressed cobblestone.
Right, that's double compressed. Do we have a bucket of water? We do. And obsidian, we ain't got that either. I don't think. Have we got any obsidian? I don't think we do. So it means we're going to have to go for a trip to the nether for some lava. Let's have a look in the blocks chest. No. Nope. That's black wall. No obsidian. So we need to pop to the nether. I don't know what you lot are doing in here. Yeah. We need to go grab some lava. How many obsidian do we actually need to make? An enchanting table. Four. Okay, we only have two buckets. Well, this will be fun. <laughs> We've got to go to the nether twice. Alright, so we've got to get in the nether and get back out with two buckets of lava and we're not, we're, oh and I've got 40 levels that's not a good idea um, 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 there's got to be another way to get obsidian somewhere where would we get obsidian from? Maybe to do with the dripper. Let's have a look at the dripper book and see if there's a way of getting it in there. No oh my luck, it's going to involve lava, isn't it? <coughs> right, we need... Oh, it's not going to tell us. Oh, we can get more grass through that. That's cool. Um, but yeah, it's not telling us how we get obsidian. There probably is a way. I'll have to have a look on Dan's page. Because um, I know that you can use honey on some things. But yeah, so all that work to get an enchanting table. And we can't do it. Because we ain't got obsidian. Okay, so back to fishing until I can figure it out. Um, pop you in there because you're too valuable to lose. Where can I get some obsidian from? There's got to be a way. Now we do have a fair few of these keys. 
Right, so I believe that four rares will make an epic. Um, let's go and do the two epics we've got though and see if it's worth got three uncommons what can we do with these rusty keys we can get a common out of them okay Right, so we've got five rares and two epics. This is through all the fishing that I did yesterday. Let's go see what we get, but we need an empty inventory first. as empty as we're going to get it. Right, so let's sleep and then go cash in some keys. You never know, we could get some obsidian. Hello me! Yeah, you got better tools than me. Right, so we've got five rares, two epics, so let's do the epics first. Right, make sure there's nobody around to pinch our loot. Right, what did we get? We got super fertilizer, two blocks of redstone, eye of ender, and a look of the C5. Not bad, but is it really epic? Right, let's try again. Right, what do we get this time? Oh, we got a diamond mesh. That's going to be helpful. Two blocks of gold. A look of the sea. Ten. Um, right, let's do one rare and then decide whether to group them together. Right, so rare gave us not a great deal, did it? Hmm. I think we'll go for another epic. Oh, what was that book? Well, it certainly isn't silk touch. <laughs> That's what we need. Right, come on. Give me something good. Quit with the fishing rods. Lure seven. Unbreaking three and efficiency three. I mean, it's nice, but it's not exactly epic, is it? <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm picky. Right, well, that was a look with the loot keys. Not fantastic. Alright, so Fisher Dude. We need to unlock this next one. And I think we're just one pass away. 48 copper coins for that one. Or just buy another floral one, I think. Nope, that's not going to get us there. That will get us there. So 48 copper coins will get us there. 
that won't. Oh, two of them. See, I hate this cave fishing area. Floral is good. Um, let's see if we've got a floral fishing pass so I can show you that area. Especially now we've got some new rods to try out. With keep inventory, do you lose your levels? I don't think you do actually. Right, so we've got ourselves some nice books there. That one in particular. That one I'm not so bothered about, but it has got efficiency too. Um Can we combine them two together? Is it worth combining them two together? Alright, let's pop our good stuff in here for now. Keys up there. Right, so we don't have enough copper coins without breaking these down, and I don't want to do that. So, what else do we need to put away? More of this super fertilizer, so we can do a load of these flowers. Pumpkin pie can go away. Uh, we do want apples for food for fishing. Diamond mesh can go in there. We don't have an anvil for combining them, do we? Just remembered. Right, so we'll go with these and see what we have the better luck with. Um, we do want a load more swords. Swords for fishing? Yeah, I'll show you why when we get there. Um, cobble. Right, loads of swords. Um, fishing pass. We have a floral fishing pass. Cool, we shall use that to go and get all our copper coins. Um can't sell them here. No. Yeah, I unlocked the cave area, but yeah, it's no good. Right, so sneak to use, and we are now in the floral fishing zone. Oops. That was a well placed lily pad. <laughs> So, while we wait for stuff to spawn in... Ah, oh, there's already one there. Right, in this fishing zone, there's actually stuff in the water itself. So we get those jellyfish, which you can see from the sparkles, and we get these pink fish. Where's the Mr. Jellyfish gone? So yeah, you spend a lot of time in here hunting by sword rather than actually fishing. Unfortunately the jellyfish don't always drop. A lot of the times they just drop a slime ball. Where's it gone? They're not easy to see and if they're in a plant you can't hit them. Like that one. Alright, so we'll have this one and then we'll have a go at some fishing, see what we can get with these new fishing rods. Right, so look at the C10. What do we get? Usually I spend all my time hunting by sword and just do fishing when it starts raining. 
He gave us a flower. And another flower. Yeah, you do get flowers in here. We haven't opened these message in a bottles yet. I got two yesterday as well. That was good, that was fish eggs. But yeah, we need to get enough copper coins so that we can unlock the next fishing area. Don't really need more fishing rods. <laughs> pulling keys in so yeah this is why granny gamer did an automatic fishing thing in the player area she built an auto clicker automatic fisher which I don't use auto clickers so punch two we got on that book right let's go sell some of this loot nowhere near enough yet so let's get rid of some of these flowers that we don't need we need to have a look at what these message in a bottles are because I don't know what is it try punching random things you may be surprised Okay. Lucky blocks can be your best friends sometimes. Try punching random things. I wonder if it's on about the fish, because we already know about that. Uh, uh, mm, here, fishy, fishy, fishies. Fine. It helps. I should have put the scoot on, shouldn't I? I do have a scoot. I think I've got two actually. That I got from the beach fishing area. Yeah, we do get squids in here sometimes. I do usually kill them just to keep the mobs we want spawning in. That one does not want to let me kill it. So yeah, I spent lots of time yesterday just doing this, unlocking fishing zones, just so that we can get more coins, because fishing is good for coins. a lot in the pond now so now it's time to go back to fishing okay two more have spawned in I 
I say, fishing during the rain is usually the best. But yeah, fishing's good here because we're out in the open. But in the cave one, we're all enclosed, so you don't get much coming in. Right, we might be better fishing with the other rod um, for low, because it's fish that we want, not so much the goodies. What was that? Punch to projectile protection. So if we try low, we should get more actual fish. Nope, still getting flowers. And clawberries. Okay. Jellyfish. That's the annoying thing about this area, it's all the flowers you pick up. But yeah, definite improvement with these rods. I think you're going to be an awkward one that I can't kill, aren't you? Nope. You can give me loads of coins, dude. That's how you can help. 23, it's still not enough. 28. We needed 48, didn't we? But yeah, I might have to leave it here and do this off stream because nobody wants to watch me fishing. As pretty as this zone is, each zone has its own decoration. Um, I will show the cave area because yeah, we've got to buy another fishing pass for it anyway just to unlock the next zone. Here, fishy, fishy, fishies. Right, so we're having more luck with jellyfish with the Lur Seven. Inventory is full, that's why that went flying past. Where did that key go? We want that. That was just an uncommon, but still. Um, how many coins have we got now? Thank you, adventurer. Thank you, adventurer. 
30, we need 48, don't we? Yeah, so I'm going to end it here, do some more fishing off stream, and I will see you again, hopefully for the next one. Goodbye.